What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare and today I'd like to do an updated MP7 class setup video. I'm going to show you three different classes, two that are really good for multiplayer and one that's really good in Warzone or multiplayer. Let's go ahead and hop right into it. This very first class is going to be my multiplayer class and I'm going to be running EOD Ghost Tracker. Lethal is going to be a Simtex. Tactical is going to be a Stem Shot. Same pistol as always. I always run the M19. Of course, secondary perks, lethals, tacticals, run what you like. That's all personal preference. But when it comes to the weapon itself, we're going to go with the FSS Strike Barrel, which is damage range, bullet velocity, and a con of aim down sight speed. The next thing we're going to go with is the TAC Laser, aim down sight speed, aiming stability, aim walking st steadiness. The con is this laser is visible to enemies. If you're ADS and looking around a corner, you know somebody's coming, they will be able to see that laser. So remember when you ADS, you will be able to you will be exposed by that little green laser and a lot of people think it's not easy to see personally i can tell pretty pretty quickly when somebody's using a laser around the corner or around a certain area if they're ads it is easy to see so just keep that in mind the next thing we're going to go with is the no stock attachment which is movement speed aim down sight speed the cons of course are aiming stability and recoil control stipple grip tape which is going to be aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed the con of course is going to be aiming stability and last but not least, the Merc foregrip, which is going to be recoil control and hip fire accuracy. This is going to help with that recoil that the no stock attachment gives us. Of course, the aim walking movement speed and aim down sight speeds are the cons. Of course, guys, as you can see, you could take the barrel, compl I mean the under or the grip completely off and still get a little bit more movement speed. Personally, I like the mobility where it's at. You already can see the mobility is very high. And with all these other attachments, the gun does have a bit more recoil than you may be used to. This is definitely an up-in-your-face, running gun kind of weapon. You can get kills out at medium range with this strike barrel, but with the no-stock attachment, you're going to see that more. You're going to see more visual recoil at range. So this is definitely a running gun style class, but a class that I like nonetheless. Really good in team deathmatch, smaller maps, that kind of thing. The next class setup we're going to look at is going to be kind of the same idea, kind of the same concept, but we're going to go with a silent setup instead. This we're going to run the monolithic suppressor. The monolithic suppressor, of course, gives us damage range and sound suppression, but aim down sight speed and aim walking steadiness are the cons. We're not going to have a barrel or the laser this time. The different thing we're going to run here for the stock is going to be the close quarter stock, which will be ADS speed, which will help with that monolithic suppressor that's slowing your ADS down. The next thing we're going to go with, of course, the Merc foregrip, as always, one of my favorite attachments on a submachine gun because of recoil control and that hip fire accuracy. 50 round mags this way. If you're behind any behind enemy lines with a silencer, you're able to take out more enemies before you have to reload again. And last but not least, stipple grip tape, which is going to be aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed. That way we can kind of have a middle ground where some slower attachments and some uh, attachments that speed things up. You could always drop this and go back with the tack laser or something like sleight of hand. But I really prefer the 50 round mag with this class setup. Like I said, you can get behind enemy lines. You still have a good bit of mobility. It is not nowhere near as fast as the other class, but it is still set up to be very good for close quarter situations and you can stay off the radar. The next thing we're going to talk about is a class that I use in ground war. And this is going to be the last kind of setup uh, that I talk about. This thing is really good in ground war, really good in war zone, really good in team deathmatch. Probably my favorite, my go to MP7 class. With this class, we're going to run double time, restock, and battle hardened. Remember, restock does resupply your lethals and tacticals, but in war zone, the timer is longer. I think it is 25 seconds. Let me make sure that is correct. Yes, 25 seconds in team deathmatch, ground war, that kind of thing. I think it's 50 seconds in war zone. Of course, double time is going to give us that increased crouch movement speed and double the duration of tactical sprint. Battle hardened is going to help against stuns, EMPs, gas effects, snapshot grenades, flashbangs, all that stuff. So if you're running and gunning in Team Deathmatch, you're running and gunning in Warzone, which is what I do with this setup, that will help you out a lot. Of course, we're going to go with a Molotov cocktail and a heartbeat sensor. If you're going to run like this in Team Deathmatch or Ground War, you can go with the usual like I always do. When I run this in Ground War, I go to my Simtex and, of course, my Stem Shot. For this class, we're going to go with the Monolithic Suppressor, which, of course, we've already talked about. It gives us sound suppression and damage range. The next thing we're going to go with is the Recon Barrel, which is damage range, bullet velocity, recoil control. Of course, the con is aim down sight speed and movement speed. The Merc Foregrip, like all the other, like all the other classes, of course, with this weapon I've showed you, the Merc Foregrip is my personal favorite. The 50-round mag and the stippled grip tape. As you can see, the mobility is down a bit on this class, but... In my opinion, for larger maps like in Ground War or for something like Warzone, 
this thing is absolutely insane at range. If you can get the first couple shots, if you're mounted up on a wall, if you have really good accuracy, you can beat people at range with ARs with this setup. And in my opinion, it shoots so quickly up close, it does it handles itself very well. Maybe not quite as good as the MP5, but everything else, medium to longer ranges, I think this thing shines, especially in war zone and ground war. So leave me a comment, guys. Leave me your thoughts about the MP7. Do you like the weapon? Do you not like the weapon? Have you tried it out in war zone? Because in my opinion, it's one of the better subs in war zone. While I still think it's not top tier in multiplayer, I still think it is very good in multiplayer as well. Of course, if you'd like to hit the like, if you hadn't subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon up in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. If you have a chance, share the video. It does help out the channel a lot. And be sure to check out GT Racing. They are the affiliate on the channel, and all their information is linked down in the description. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.